Welcome to the Electronics Tools for Beginners video series. I'm going to be doing a video every single day, so make sure you subscribe to make sure you don't miss those. Also be a playlist down in the description and at the end of the video as well to go and watch more of the video series. So make sure you check them out. So in this video we're going to talk about component testers. I've got a selection here, I do actually have a bunch of other ones as well. I'm just going to quickly talk about these ones. On the right hand side here there's a bunch of Peak Electronic Design testers. They do a whole bunch of different ones. This one's the ESR70 which I did a review on recently. This is the Atlas Zen, which is doing Zenodio testing. And I've got the DCA 75 Pro here, which is for testing rear semiconductors. So they do a big range of products. So I've done reviews on this one here. Yeah, just that one so far. I've got another one coming, I think. This is the MK328. There's lots of different versions of this particular unit, or different form factors. And this is good for testing transistors and things like that as well. It does a range of things, actually. It's got options and stuff in the menu. And I don't know. Anyway, I don't use that very often, but I do use it from time to time. This is a op amp board, testing op amps. So single and dual op amps, this can test. Picked this up a little while ago, just give it power and it will tell you if it's good or not. Basic functional test. How accurate it really is, I'm not sure yet, but I've only used it once or twice. I'll put it in this little case because it just happened to be convenient to look after it. Here is my DRAM tester, which I built in a project not too long ago to feature this in a video. So you just put a DRAM 4164 or 4864 DRAM in here and it runs through some tests on it and displays on the display here showing you what's going on. This is an open source project, you can actually go and download this yourself, buy the parts and build it yourself if you want to. So I thought I'd mention it. And over here is a little IC test that is quite common, these are on AliExpress as well. These actually work surprisingly well. This is one of my go-to tools when I'm testing chips as I put it in here first and see what this tells me because this tells me a lot of the time whether or not it's good or not, or if it's part of the right family at least it will recognize the chips being the right family. So it seems to be quite good, I use this quite a bit. There'll be links down below for all these things as well. Let's actually test something. It's, I've got a transistor here, which is a, was it, a 2N something? 3904. 2N 3904. So let's talk out to this thing first. Might as well demonstrate doing something, eh? Make sure it's fanned out so it doesn't short out. There you go, it's recognised as an NPN device. It's got a beta 221. Backwards of what I've got it on, I've got it all around. So that's your EBC footprint. So that's that one. So beta of 221. Let's see what the Peak Electronics Tester thinks of it. Let's do a quick demo of this. It says 220. Very close, isn't it? And I have green is left pin, so it's emitter, red in the middle, and blue on the right. So, yep, EBC that matches as well. This will tell you a bit more information though, as well. Okay, currents and voltage drops, and what have you, as well. Tells you a bit more information. If you want to know more about what's going on, we can be one of these things. So, if you like that, don't forget to click like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Share the video, I think people will be interested in it. There's a playlist over here for the beginner series. There's a playlist here YouTube things you should watch. There's a subscribe link here, which you should definitely click on and subscribe to my channel. And there's a Patreon support link over there if you want to do donations to the channel and help support me on a monthly basis and help me to buy things in my bag and things to fix and wait. Catch you later.